Hello everybody and welcome back to Extra Holiday Games. I'm Extra Holiday and um, last time we we're talking about monetization, which is a super exciting topic, I know. I mean, it might be exciting for people with similar interests to me in, you know, making stuff on the internet. Uh, in Gingerbridge and how I won't ever be able to monetize the videos directly because um, someone else owns the footage, basically. <laughs> Yeah, and uh, if you didn't know, um, the ads you might see on Digibridge, because there are ads that run occasionally, um, the ads that you might see on there, uh, yeah, that, those aren't mine. I'm not making any money off of those. And they're, uh, the company that uh, claimed the video, which is the... Uh, the company that owns the footage, like, I'm not gonna argue that. Like, the original footage, I should say, because Digibridge is fairly heavily edited. Um, but the company that owns the original footage claimed the video, and I kind of expected that, so I was pretty much okay with it when it happened. Uh, well, it happened twice, actually. And the first time, I wasn't okay with it because they totally blocked it in all countries, so I was less okay with that, but then I went and I, you know, fiddled about with some of the footage, and when I posted it the second time, they were okay with just claiming monetization on it, which, okay, like, I can deal with that. Like, if you want to run ads on it, that's fine. Like, that's, that seems like a reasonable compromise to me when it comes to, you know, fair use. Which, I, I'm almost 100% certain that uh, a bridge series are fair use, but, you know, and thus shouldn't be able to be claimed at all, but it's fine. I can compromise. Uh, so, yeah, there's, uh, there's that. And that, uh, yes, there are ads on that video. No, they're not mine. <laughs> but yes, that's okay. And, you know, if they want to do that for the rest of the episodes of Digibridge, Bridge, that's fine, too. Although one side effect that that has is, um, because, like, I checked. I checked what kind of ads they were running, and they were running ads for, like, actual Digimon toys? Which is kind of maybe not the best move on their part, because if you see a video about Digimon... Oh, okay. It was the Scythans. Okay. If you see a video about Digimon, and like even, you know, even if the video says like, Oh yeah, this isn't an official thing, but then you see an ad for actual Digimon toys, you know, like the kind you would see on an official Digimon video. Wouldn't that make you think that, uh, that the thing you're watching is legit? <laughs> like, if they're gonna run ads, they should probably run ads that aren't related to the brand. <laughs> and I... I still have to clear this up because there's at least one person in the comments who, uh, who thinks that, uh, my video is the real thing. It's not. <laughs> um, so, yeah, I, I, I really ought to, I really ought to clear that up. Um, because that's not what I'm going for, right? I'm not trying to convince people that the video that I made is, or uploaded, is you know, the actual first episode of Digimon Tamers. No, that is 100% not what I'm going for. And so, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna try and do everything in my power to convince people that no, this is not the real thing. If you wanna see the real thing, you know, check like in, uh, Netflix or Crunchyroll or something like that. You know, don't pirate because that's bad, okay? 
Well, more or less. I, like, I... Mm. Okay, yeah, I, mean, I don't want to get too deep into the subject of pirating, but, like... If you can find an official source and you have the money to get it, get it. <laughs> I don't... At least not in my area, I don't think entertainment is super overpriced. I know prices can vary, but... I... I don't... You know. Pay for your entertainment when you can afford it. That's my philosophy. Right, like I... And that just doesn't apply to like, you know, big AAA things for me. It also applies to... You know, like YouTubers and stuff. Like, I don't run Adblock on my computer or whatever other device I might be watching on, like, my phone. I only run, uh, I don't, I don't ever run Adblock. And that's because I want people making things to get paid for making their things. <laughs> I mean, as long as they're looking to get paid for it, because, I mean, largely because I'm also the type of person who wants to, who wants to make things for a living, and it's hard to do that when you're, you're not getting paid for it. Uh, so, oh, I try to pe support people who create things that I like. Starting to focus really hard on this boss battle because it seems really tricky. But. Yeah. No. Like. I don't know. I don't know. Like, there are multiple ways you can support people. Like, you don't have to. Like, if you do run something like an ad blocker, then there are other things you can do. Like, you can tweet about their stuff, you know. Give them more exposure, you know, sp you know, tell your friends about, uh, you know, creators and stuff you know, that you enjoy. You know, that, that helps, you know. It doesn't always have to be, you know, monetary support. Oh, Sky Chase. Alright. So yeah. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. It feels weird to ask, ask for that sort of thing, though, being that I'm one of those people who would benefit from it. I don't know. But also, I guess I could say this, too, to maybe clear my conscience a little. Uh, also, uh, don't feel pressured to support a creator financially if you can't afford it. I guess that is kind of the same thing that I already said, but, um, like, I don't know. Because, right, it's like, at least I know in the case of many online creators, you know, they, they genuinely care about the people who support them. Not just in a, oh yeah, these are the people putting food on my table kind of way. So, they'll understand, you know, they, they, from, in my experience, these sorts of people have at least some amount of human empathy and can generally understand when, you know, you're, you're not capable of supporting them in a certain way. And there are people out there who aren't like that, and those people are definitely worth criticizing. Um, but the good ones, the good ones will understand. And that's kind of a, that's kind of a good way to think about any relationship, really. Is like, you know, people people who really care about you will understand if you know when you when you're having struggles, you know, when you can't do everything that 
they might want you to do. supposed to jump off there. And I was also supposed to save uh, at the end of that uh, air chase thing. So actually what I'm going to do here is I'm going to use a continue and then I'm going to save. <laughs> Which is arguably not the rules that I should be going by, but also... I don't know. <laughs> I'm kind of hoping to finish this game this episode, so... Um, if I can, I don't know. I think this is the last zone, I don't know. I think it just said Wing Fortress Zone and not, like, Act 1 or anything. Alright, hold on, I can, I can check that, actually. Yeah, okay, so this, I'm pretty sure this is the last zone. That's a bottomless pit. Alright. Uh, so. I'm gonna jump off before he even gets shot. Also, like, kind of a dick move, Sonic. Like, I get that you're saving yourself. But, like, maybe try and take Tails with you. fire here. And I have to jump toward it. I slipped off. Okay! No, it's cool. It's cool. Yeah. Uh. So yeah. Final zone. Hopefully we can beat the boss today. But we're probably not going to beat the boss if we're talking about beating the boss now. So we'll talk about other things. I kind of, I feel like I said most of what I wanted to say with my creator's rant. Uh, so what else can we talk about? Let's see, let's see. Just uh, I definitely hit the jump button there, but okay. Okay, game. If you don't believe me, that's fine. Uh, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. You know, uh, maybe maybe I just take this a little slower. No. Definitely could have made that cycle, but it's fine. Ah, oh dear. Have we nothing else to talk about? Let's see, let's see. Oh, uh, yeah, definitely not getting supersonic, by the way, since this is the uh, final zone. I noticed I brought it up because I have... Uh, okay, well, that hurts you. Good. I had more than 50 rings. So, if I had hit a checkpoint at that point, then I would have got a chance at an emerald, but also we only have one emerald at this point, and actually I don't even know if emeralds stay through continues. So, can I, can I get up there please? No, I have to go to the right. Okay. Oh no, this is back towards the beginning. Oh, hold on. Hold on, there's a thing up here. Shield, I will take it. Oh, oh. Oh, that just skips a lot of stuff. That just gets me right back to where I was, okay. Oh, there's a checkpoint, cool, cool. That's good to have. Also, this is the flying battery, in case you didn't recognize it. It was in Mania. <laughs> uh, although they don't call it the flying battery, which is interesting. Ooh. 
many times has Eggman built an airship? Because I know there's this one, the flying battery. Then there's also... Okay, that was mean. Uh, then there's also... What was it called? The Egg Carrier in Sonic Adventure? And I feel like there's probably some more in other Sonic games that I'm not thinking of. I think that was... I think it was maybe also the Egg Carrier in... Sonic 06, because there was another airship that he had. I don't know. I, it's at this point where I'm like not sure what I can stand on, but apparently nothing down there, so. But yeah, apparently Eggman likes, uh... Okay, that's cool. Eggman likes building airships. Just neat. It's a neat hobby. I'm uh, more into playing video games myself, but uh, it's uh, to each their own, I suppose. Okay, so here's a quick way to skip a whole bunch of stuff. <sighs> and part of the that stuff we're skipping is a bottomless pit, so I'm gonna go ahead and take that opportunity to do so. Cool. Oh hey, we already hit the checkpoint. I'm not gonna bother with the <laughs> Emerald minigame, because, like I said, we're not getting the emeralds. Definitely not getting all seven at this point. Right. This way. Woo! What was the tricky part coming up? Uh, there's this. Ow. Could you not, though? Alright, it's through here. Uh huh! And a uh huh! And a uh huh! And a uh huh! Why is the wind so much stronger on that part of the ship? I definitely almost died there. This is gonna be tricky. Can't walk into this thing or it'll hurt me and probably kill me. Okay. <laughs> Alright. Um uh, uh hopefully I hit this at the right cycle. Oh god, oh god, okay, I hit jump, but it's fine. There's probably a bit of delay. Since I am using Joy-Cons and they're wireless and Wireless things and controllers tend to have a bit more delay than other controllers. Yeah. Which reminds me, when I ordered all that uh, audio equipment, I also meant to order... <laughs> Originally I also meant to order controllers while I was at it, but um, that didn't happen. <laughs> I kind of just forgot, but I mean... I, I don't really blame myself for it because I spent like four hours researching <laughs> like what I would need for audio equipment so it makes kind of makes sense that I would forget <laughs> about the controllers that aren't actually related in any way but you know maybe I'll order them today because I got time it's a day off from work anyway. <laughs> Still have other stuff to do for the channel today, you know, I, I edit daily, so. Oh dear lord, oh dear lord, oh de oh no! <laughs> the checkpoint was right there, not that it mattered since I only have one life, but Watch Tails die every time. <laughs> That's unfortunate. Yeah, and I just realized because Tails crashes in the plane, oh god, yeah, he, uh, he's not with you in this level. <laughs> yeah, rip Tails. I'm sure we'll never see him again. That is, God, I love, I love that. That's a thing that I can just 
jump up there and do that. Because uh, I did not like the section with the bottomless pit. God, imagine how terrifying it would be. I mean, I guess people who have gone skydiving can imagine. But also you have a parachute when you're skydiving. But imagine how terrifying it would be to be just like walking on a giant airship and then fall off. That would be the most terrifying 30 seconds of your life. Because <laughs> then it would be over. <laughs> Unless you were wearing a parachute, in which case, you, know, you, you might survive, if you know what you're doing. Because, uh, important part, like, I haven't been skydiving, but I happen to know the important part is of skydiving is knowing when to pull the parachute. Because, uh, if you pull it too late, then you're gonna hit the ground too fast, and oh, oh, okay, well, and you'll die. And you know, okay. Ah, uh, uh, yeah, ah, uh, dying. Yeah, that's what. I hate that those propellers aren't just decoration. I mean, it makes sense, but I hate it. It's like, see, that would have been so smooth if that goddamn propeller wasn't there. I'm annoyed. No, there are coin boxes or ring boxes up there. Interesting. I say coin because was playing Mario Maker last night. So. One thing I like to do, and I feel pretty safe uh, saying this now, is when I'm like listening to a lecture for school or like a podcast or something, I like to play the uh, endless mode in Mario Maker, Mario Maker 2 specifically. Um, and I like to just, I like to just, actually, I'm gonna wait for the next cycle. Okay. Uh, and I like to, I like to play Endless Easy. I like to play Endless Mode on Easy and just, you know, kind of cruise through some levels because it feels good. Why? Why? Why is that a thing? No, don't submit the ranking. It's fine. Oh, I can't load until it's done. Great. But yeah, I like to just play Endless Easy, just beat some levels while I'm listening to something else. It's a good time. It's a, it's a nice, relaxing time. So. I was, I was doing some of that last night while I was listening to a, uh, listening to a d and I call it a podcast, but there's also video, so it's not exactly a podcast. Though some podcasts have video, I get I yeah, you know, I'm gonna call it a podcast. It was a DD podcast that I was listening to, and I tend to uh No, I don't wanna go this way. I tend to avoid like in the past I've avoided D D podcasts because I, I do like DD. I like playing D D. But I like listening to D&D less because it makes me want to play D&D. And lately I haven't had a lot of opportunities to play D&D. Uh, so... I... That, that, that's why in the past... I... Stayed away from... D&D podcasts. Again. Uh, because... I didn't want to, uh, I didn't want to tempt myself with something I couldn't have. And, uh, it's, uh, it's, uh, it's, uh, it's, uh, it's, uh, I've, I've been enjoying it, though. 
like this this newest podcast I've been listening to. And it might be helping that I'm also doing other things while I'm listening to it. Like I also tend to put it on while I'm driving to work. Just being neat. Concentrate on this here part. Okay, cool. And there's the thing that just throws you into the abyss again. I'm so glad that that exists. Uh, but yeah, I, I put it on while I'm at work. Sometimes I listen to it in the shower. Okay, I guess this is just a leap of faith. Okay, and I didn't make it. Great! Yeah, it's a, it's a good time. If you're wondering which one I'm talking about at... Well, okay. Alright. That part sucks. <laughs> like, flat out, that part sucks. Uh, but if you're wondering which one I... which D&D podcast I've been listening to, uh, that would be uh, Outpost Santa Barbara. Found on uh, Lily Pichu's channel. And, you know, I, uh... I watch a lot of her stuff, as well as the other members of Offline TV's stuffs. And so that's, uh, that's, that's when it caught my eyes. Like, I saw, I saw on her VOD channel that she's been doing streams with D&D, and I'm like, hmm, that is something I'm interested in. And I had to ask myself, like, okay, this is going to make you want to play. Are you willing to deal with that? And this time my answer was yes. So, so started listening, and it's been a good time. It's been a good time. That's a it's a real fun group of players they got there, and the DM's pretty good too. Koibu is his name. I guess to list everyone else's, you got Lily Pichu as a player, uh, Michael Reeves, uh, Disguised Toast, and Saikuno. They are quite funny to listen to in their uh, endeavors. Why? Why did I jump there? Why? Why? That was the worst timing. I couldn't have had worse timing. That's also fine. Ah. d and is fun. And I wish I could play some right now, but I really can't. Why did I jump? Why do I always jump? Ah. Yeah. Yeah. I've had... I've had a few different groups that I used to play with. And... Unfortunately, I'm not, uh, right, when it, some of the groups were online, and in that case, uh, I mean, I haven't, just haven't really been talking to them very often. We used to play together quite a bit, but then we... We kind of all got a little more busy, and like, these are these are friends from high school, you know. So for a while, <laughs> a lot of us were not in school and didn't ha have jobs yet, and so we had we had a good amount of time to play, but uh, not so much anymore. Now we got other stuff to do, uh, and the in-person groups I've played with, I just haven't really kept up with at all, so... And there's also the issue of the fact that I've mentioned this before, but the... Alright, you know, we're just gonna reload there. Uh, the internet here, where I'm living, sucks. So... I can't, uh, like I could, I could play D&D online, even if it was just with, you know, some randos, 
but still there would be like a good half second delay between me saying something and them hearing it. Okay, wait, no, this is the way I want to go. Okay, um, and uh, I don't, I don't really want to, don't really want to deal with that. So maybe I'm just being picky, but. Is what I would prefer. Wow. Come on, Sanic. Do as I want. There we go. Okay, cool. Uh, I wonder if that's a glitch. Is that a glitch or is that intended that you can do that? You can just kind of slip through that fan because it feels like a glitch. I don't know. I don't know. It's like a huge, huge level of the, or part of the level you're just skipping there. And I really, really need to stop running into that fan blade, or propeller blade, I should say. Stop it, Robo Chicken! Stop! You're being rude. I hate Robo Chickens. Not because of the Robo Chickens, but because of the actions they take. Don't get it twisted. <sighs> uh, I always forget that the floor is weird here, and that there is no floor when it looks like there are multiple things that could be a floor. Okay. 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 Fine. Everything is fine. Nothing's the matter. Jump to not die there. Make the long jump. Okay. Uh, and of course it throws me back. Okay, do it again. And then jump over the... Okay, 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 okay. Good, we made it. Okay, we can walk on this. Good. I'm glad. This goes up. Doesn't actually help me in any way. Okay. Thought I had to jump into it. <sighs> Wait. Oh, that thing just doesn't reset. Unless you put it off screen. Okay. That's fine. Nope, don't don't get I, don't get shot. Don't get shot. Don't get shot me. I know you were thinking about it, but don't do it. Can you get up there? I don't think that's where I'm supposed to go anyway, even if I can get up there, so... Okay... It's so scary running fast in this level because you know there are bottomless pits that exist. Especially when I'm going down. Oh. Oh. Okay. Is it... Okay. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. Okay. We're okay. Where is... Fuck, dude. <laughs> this is terrifying. Okay. So I'm gonna go back up here. Hmm. Okay. So it's a current that'll take us here. An air current, I should say. No water here. Which, you know what? I'm I'm not super upset about. <laughs> Surprisingly. Wait, wait, where am I supposed to go? <sighs> Hold on. Is there something up here maybe? No? Hmm. Okay, okay. Am I supposed to go left here? Maybe? No? Down here? No? Wait, that's a solid thing. Got it. Okay, where to go? Am I actually supposed to go through here? Oh, okay, now that's just a... Now that the box is gone, you can just run through that, okay. I thought I had to jump over something, which made me think that I wasn't supposed to jump again afterward, but... Okay, missed it, it's fine. I'm really glad this wind is here to save you. 
because this would be very, I mean, it is very frustrating, but this would be more frustrating otherwise. What? There's a low ceiling there. <sighs> Maybe I should try going back up. Maybe that was the way to go. Where? Or? Oh, 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 okay. Alright, well, invisible pathways. Cool. the boss? Is this the final boss? Can this be the final boss? Okay, no, we're inside the ship now. At least there won't be- ah, uh, here we go. Here's a thing. Okay, that's a platform, right? I can stand on top of that? Ow. Okay, yeah, I can stand on top of these. I just don't want to be under them. Uh, okay. Stop. Uh, uh, uh. I don't remember this boss. Maybe I didn't beat this game. Ow! That didn't feel cool. Ow. No, nope, don't give me a ring. Damn it. Oh, I'm dead, aren't I? Uh, okay, no, we're fine for now. Uh, 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 uh. This is a long level. I don't want to have to do it again. Uh, 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 okay. All right. Uh, oh, no! Damn it! Oh, at least we can start from the checkpoint and grab these rings. Uh, it's great thing over here. It would be nice if there was, like, an invincibility or something, but there isn't. <sighs> this is the last zone, right? No. My memory is all easy here. Hmm. Hmm. Probably shouldn't be throwing away lives like that. <sighs> it's fine. Okay. Okay, just let me... Let's keep that ring there, actually. Just for safety purposes. Uh, uh, no, well, I grabbed it. That's fine, I guess. Okay, well, it has to come fully out. We got it. Ow. Oh, one ring left. Okay. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, ah. Uh. Okay. We're good. Everything's good. Everything is fine. Hit it once. Okay. Alright, don't get stuck under it. Not gonna get greedy. Not gonna get greedy. <sighs> uh, ow. No, ring. Okay. Ring was first priority. Oh no, ring! No, oh, ring's gone. Oh, and I'm dead. Great. 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 Yeah, this doesn't seem like the final. I don't know. I don't know, man. I don't know, man. Maybe this is just a really long episode. I don't know. Okay. You. Uh. Oh, no. The ring went up top. It went through the ceiling. over here, and ride this one back over here, and then ride this one over here again. Okay, well, that's not gonna happen. I mean, I guess this kind of makes sense for a strategy for Eggman to just try and box Sonic in and make him deal with something in a uh, tight space. It's like his biggest advantage is speed, right? So if you can, if you keep the speedy guy locked up, then he doesn't really have a chance to do speedy things. And we have to wait for the ring chain ranking to submit. And you know what? I think we'll go ahead and finish this next time. Because, uh, 
As for this episode, that's a wrap. Really wanted to finish this episode.